Embrace the strange. Today's illusion is, at least, I'm free. But the thing is, freedom itself can be daunting. Going into this painting, I have no expectation. This is one of the eight I did on this day as an experiment, which was to paint a bunch one day and edit videos another day. Partly because I don't like editing, but also because I really just wanted to paint. This was the seventh in the eight series in a five to six hour painting session. Although I had to take breaks to check my blood sugar because my body revolts against me existing. Cherish your pancreas. Contorted, the figure folds in on itself, balancing precariously on its knee and opposite foot, almost breaking, snapping at a point. Its legs cross with a mixture of pain, anxiety, and tension. From the elongated ribbon or river of a neck, the figure's head tumbles beneath it to the foreground of the painting. One arm flows along with the neck while the other contracts. Enclosed in the bend of the body is a yellow orb. Yellow, if you don't know, is my least favorite color. It's very much an anxiety-inducing color, and the contrast to the coolness of the rest of the painting, it really feels like water confined, like the body is a container, but the water seeks to override the structure. Much like emotion. I tried to pick very different sketches to paint on this day, and this one was calling to me. The overlaying of limbs, their arrangement was very gravity-defying, tortured, and fluid. So I thought, yes, yes, I would like that in a painting very much, yes. So I did that. It turned out so clean and flowy, while also very claustrophobic and panicked. Good segue, that's the song, Panic Attacks in Paradise. It's the only Ash Yiko song I can, like wholly relate to as a neurotic person but i also like to think i put the erotic in neurotic you get it you get it you do so if you take anything away from this video it is art truly art and art goes on so i will in my next video thank you for watching